Okay, so let's do a few examples where we're examining phenomena best described with a binomially distributed random variable. Uh, let's say a radar engineer with the Advanced Radar Research Center at the University of Oklahoma is testing a new radar design. Typically, 85% of the objects are detected by this radar. The engineer uh, randomly places 20 objects in a field. What's the probability that more than 17 of those objects are detected? Okay, so let's define a random variable. Uh, we'll call it y, and it's the number of objects um, detected by the radar. Okay, and number of objects, that would imply a, uh, a discrete random variable. We can't have 2.7 objects. These have to be integers. Okay, so this is going to be a discrete random variable. And as it turns out, it's a binomial random variable as well. Um, and we want to know what's the probability that y is greater than 17. y is more than 17 objects. Okay, so we're not including 17 here. So that would be equal to the probability that y is greater than or equal to 18. Okay, more than 17 is 18 or more. Okay, so that's the probability that y equals 18 plus the probability that y equals 19 plus the probability that y equals 20. Okay, there are 20 total objects. Okay, so here we have uh, n equals 20 and p, the probability that any individual uh, object is detected uh, was 0.85. 85% of objects are detected. Okay? So let's find each one of these probabilities. So the probability that y is greater than or equal to 18 is, okay, here we're going to, out of our 20 objects, we're going to pick 18 that are detected. What's the individual probability of a detection? 0.85. How many are detected? 18. That leaves uh, 20 minus 18, which is 2, uh, that aren't detected. And they aren't detected with probability 1 minus 0.85. Okay? To that, we're going to add the probability that we see 19 uh, objects detected. That's 20 choose 19. 0.85 to the 19. 1 minus 0.85 to the 20 minus 19, which is 1. One object went undetected, and that one object went undetected with probability 1 minus 0.85, which is 0.15. And now the probability that all 20 out of the 20 objects are detected. 20 choose 20, 0.85 to the 20, 1 minus 0.85 to the 20 minus 20, which is 0. Okay? And if we do this, we work all this out. This is just arithmetic, all right? The hard part is translating the problem into a random variable, then trying to pick out what we need, and trying to determine that it's a binomial distribution in the first place. Once we have that, the rest is pretty straightforward arithmetic. We could do this easily in Excel, okay? And if we do that in Excel, we would get that the probability is 0 0.4049, okay? So the probability that uh, given uh, 20 total objects What's the probability that we detect more than 17? 40, uh, 0.4049, okay? That is, given uh, several different um, experiments where we have 20 objects each, what's the probability that we uh, see more than 17 objects detected? 0.4, uh, that is 40% of those different allotments of 20 objects will detect more than 17 objects.